What do you think win without boasting, lose without excuse means? Well, I think it means um, to be fair when you're playing games. So, like, when you lose, you shouldn't be sad about it because you could always try it again. I think that's a... That, that means, like, you should get out if you're out because, like... In Foursquare, sometimes people don't get out because they want to stay in. If you, The sooner you get out, the more time you have to play. And that's why I think that's a pretty good rule. Well, I think winning without boasting means that you win, but you don't tell the other team that, well, just in their face, that you won and they lost, and you just tell them good game and... They played a good game and some compliments about what they did. I think it means, like, you don't brag when you think that you did win, but someone else did win, and the other person did win than you. It means when you win something, you don't brag about it, and when you lose something, you don't make excuses, you just say good game. Winning without bragging and being mean. Well, that means being a gracious winner and accepting defeats graciously as well. I think it means um, that when you win, you shouldn't brag about it and you should encourage others. And um, to lose without excuse means to, if you lose, it's okay. You don't want to have an excuse of why you shouldn't have lose. Means that you um, um, go to the right place at the time. I think that it means that maybe if I'm performing and I do well, then I still know that I have something that I can work on. And I think that if I don't do well, that I know that I should have worked harder on it and that it was maybe my fault. Yes. If, if somebody pl maybe plays a game of ball and somebody wins and they say, oh, well, better than you just because we won, that wouldn't be really being nice. So that would be bragging. Yes. There are times when I exemplify this. Um, when I audition for shows that I want to perform in, I have to compete against um, a lot of different people for one role. Um, and sometimes I get the role. For example, I went to an audition last week and I got the role. But there were seven other people who were also up for the same role. And some of them are friends of mine. So I when I won the role, I didn't go in to the next time I saw them and went, hey guys, guess what? I got the role. That wouldn't be very nice, would it? No. <laughs> when they asked me, I was honest, and I said, yes, I got it, and they congratulated me, and I said, thank you. If you had a really good art project, what would you say to somebody else if you were trying to make them feel better if it wasn't super good? I would say oh, that... You can make another one. Thank you. In life, have you ever not bragged about something that you did and other people could be jealous about? Oh, I accidentally bragged once. It was when I um. It was when I thought I won a game of t-ball once. Oh man, I just thought I won and boom, cheated. One person like on the Lugnut team, he did not even he did not even like the any words I even said. If you win, you shouldn't be like, haha, you didn't win. And if you lose, you shouldn't like be like, oh, I let you tag me if you're playing tag. This was a 
great example by Anka, Julia, and Bella of what not to do. Um, when I have a good picture and the other person doesn't, I can't say that I have a better picture than them. Thank you. We also recently asked Keisha Baker if everyone at the Olympics was a good sport. No, at the Olympics was everyone a good sport, and I mean, no, not everyone's always going to be a good sport. I mean, you have to think people dedicate their whole lives to this one event, and some people take losing pretty bad, and some people go overboard with winning. So, I mean, we do do a lot of things as a team to try to educate the younger athletes that come in to kind of balance that, to understand you're going to win some, you're going to lose some, but, you know, like, you need to find... Like, you need to find the purpose in the winning and the losing and realize the positive from both. So, I mean, they're, not everyone's like that, but we do try to help athletes and teach them that type of stuff. We should tell Keisha what's one of our proverbs about winning and losing. Who can tell us? Say it, say it together. Win without boasting, lose without excuse. Sounds great. <laughs> What do you think win without boasting means? <laughs> if uh, someone said, that was a horrible pass, do it again better this time, would you like it if someone said that? Yeah. You would? Yeah, then I can get the person out. That's really tough. Honestly, I don't know. This is going to be really tough. Let me think. Um... Maybe throwing a party? I think it's great. <laughs> okay, thanks.